Today, Wake Tech is certainly thanking voters for their passage of a $353 million workforce bond. Of course, that was approved during last night's election. Yeah, this approval will allow the school to continue its expansion across Wake County. CBS 17's Darren Todd joins us live from Wake Tech's northern campus with what's next. Darren. Hey, good afternoon, Bill and Liz. Guys, the green light is here and Wake Tech is ready to go. I had saw some staff members standing right here behind me waving flags and a car is passing by hucking their horns as well in support of this bun actually passing. Now, this is something that we've been talking about since September, since they made the announcement of this of this bond proposal and why they need these funds to be approved. Now, this approval will allow Wake Tech to really focus on the expansion of their health care program and their Perry Health Science campus. Wake Tech Next president says the growth happening across the county is driving the need for expansion. However, he understands it's something not everyone voted for. But we know not everybody voted for it. But I think one of the things with Wake Tech and with the role we play, think about expansion of health care. When you go to one of our three hospitals, when you go to any other kind of medical facility, you are going to bump into someone who's going to be caring for you who is educated and trained through Wake Tech. Now, the bone will also allow more development in the southwestern parts of the county, including Apex, Holly Springs, and Cary, and the continued investment in the growing efforts of life science, IT, and cybersecurity. Now, we do know that construction will begin in 2025. Live here in Raleigh, Darren Todd, CBS 17 News.